it's the 17th of September. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon and it's 79 degrees. So just a gorgeous day for us. 79 is not hot here at all. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous day. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say. I just thought I'd show some of my pomegranates because I've got a lot of them. And they're turning a pretty red color. Like They weren't last year. They were like a brown, not a very pretty color, but these are gorgeous. So I'm happy with those. Not the bright red that they have at Disneyland, but I wonder if they paint those. So, what we've done just recently, I started pulling this grass out of this bed a little bit, and I started taking dead plants out of here, and what we've been working on is our sprinkler system up above here, and we've replaced most of the sprinklers since they're over 20 years old and we think we've got it ready to go so now we're going to um our next thing is we're going to be putting in a, a waterfall right here and that's why this sprinkler right here and i haven't covered all the holes up yet but it's going to have tubing that comes off of it so that it um, doesn't um, spray our waterfall and then we'll be able to put plants around our waterfall so the next part is starting and then right about here is where the waterfall is going to go and we'll probably have to move maybe this wind spinner. And we are definitely moving this tiki light we had for a while and stuff like that. And I'll probably move my swing here. But anyway, that's what's on our list to do. Well, look at these vincas. They're so pretty. I'm going to probably be taking those to the fair because that's an insert to that tiki head. So I'll probably be able to just scoop those out and take them to the fair. And look at this. I think that's really pretty too. Um, I'm going to put those in hanging baskets next year, but that's gorgeous, that asparagus fern. And then all of these lantennas will go up in the upper yard at some point. And I'm not going to, it's kind of hard because of the way the sun is, the sun's kind of harsh at this time of day. But um, I wanted to show my flowers over here. They're looking good. Got some marigolds that are coming up in there with the vincas. And then I've got the lantana here that look really pretty. And this little dude grew quite a bit. I think it's some kind of flax. They're both still doing fine. So I don't have a whole lot to show today. I did do some weeding over in these pots because I intend to probably use these for the fair. I took the shade cloth off of this and I've got some Actually, good-sized pumpkins in here right now. 
that's almost like a cue ball size, pool ball size. And then my pumpkins are running all over into the rocks here and stuff, and I'm fine with that. Haven't put any dirt in this thing yet. I need to do that. But like I say, we worked at digging up all of our sprinklers on the top here and replacing them so that we've got them ready to go. So that was our focus. We had wind yesterday, which brought the temperatures down. I think our um, lows are in the 50s. <laughs> and 60s and then our highs are just 70s and 80s and I think it's going to stay that way for a while and it was calm today and I think it's supposed to be calm most of the week but don't don't remember quite well enough I took the shea cloth over there, and there's a couple of pepper plants that are still alive, so that's good. This is pretty. And took the shea cloth off of the tomatoes. Hoping that the peppers are doing good. They look like they are, but like I said, I don't see a whole lot of flowers yet, but this temperature change will help the peppers tremendously. And then we've got like little hummingbirds that we've been watching drink. There's like three of them that are pretty consistently. They were here all afternoon yesterday and we think it was because it was windy and they like it it's kind of protected over here the one likes to sit up there on the, the perch it's all three of them around here right now Zinnias are blooming pretty good. My lemongrass. We had a Vietnamese chicken the other night that was delicious. I want to try making some lemongrass tea next. And here's our Kakuza squash. I have not seen any flowers over here. On the one that's over on the walkway, I have. There's white flowers on them, but I haven't seen them here. And then we still have cucumbers. And then my husband just put something across for the beans to grab. Is this string here. And um, we'll see how the bean noodle beans do over here. And then I've got a couple of... Um, blossoms on my silver fir tomato plant there. This one's not very big, this little tiny tomato plant, but that one's doing awesome. So, anywho, it's kind of what we got going on. I'm enjoying our garden. I got lots of dead leaves over in there I got to do something about. And this plant's just crazy. This hyacinth bean plant. Yeah. Not a not a plant that I knew would go that crazy. I will only put that like against a wall or something now. Like over there it would work perfect. Oh, there's my little hummingbird. Kind of fun to watch them. 
Anyway. That's my garden diary. Today is the 12th of September. And I got some corbachi peppers, some Jalafuego peppers. Those are the red ones. And then I got one Kajari melon that's ready to go. So not bad. I'm, I'm happy with that little haul. Looks like I'm going to have lots of Kajari melons this fall. So that's, that's a cool thing. I think I'll get lots of peppers too. They're just not ready. They're more green. Today is the 15th of September and I got I was going out to get me some lemongrass, so I got quite a bit of it because I'm making a Vietnamese chicken dish. And then I found a zucchini and five cucumbers. And I feel really good about that. Today is the 16th of September, and I got this Kajari melon off the it was sitting in the rocks over by the Vigo bed, and I figure it's actually the first one that's not split, is orange like it's supposed to be, and it actually just came off naturally, so I bet it's really tasty. I just want to shoot this video so that I can show what we've done with these sprinklers up here right now. We have this one that's in front of this tree here and it's going to get swapped out for a different a rain bird I think and not this one but I still got a lot of stuff I got to do to get that purple flux up then there's I haven't done anything to this one yet don't know that we will the one that's going to be the closest to our waterfall is right here and it's going to get a new flex tube and it's going to have a rainbird sprinkler or no a sprinkler that you can do tubing on um this one we already redid it's the one that's closest to this bigger tree see if I can get out of my own shadow and I've kind of got it covered back up a little bit but it's been replaced basically haven't done anything to this one but I think we replaced that at one time already it seems like we did over right here and then there's this one that's kind of behind the shed here. And we may have done that one too. And then I have this one and I need to cover it up, but I thought I would at least show that we've got it finished and it's replaced. And what else? Probably one right around in here. And then we think that we actually plugged one up. That might be plugged. It is plugged. There is a plug right there. I betcha that's plugged. And then probably there's a sprinkler in here somewhere. I don't know. I have to look for it. Anywho, that's where we're at right now. I just thought I'd cover what we've gotten done so far.